Hi, everybody, and welcome. I'm Priscilla Gendron, and I'm your host today. Um, welcome to the Wellness Lifestyle Conference. And um, today we're talking with the awesome, fabulous, <laughs> Miss Sharon McNeil. And she's going to help us and guide us through what's been happening in 2020, and especially what is coming in 2021. Um, because we've all had an, a horrendous year, um, and it's about sort of navigating what's happened and where we're going to go to in the future. So it's with great pleasure that I welcome Sharon and all our participants. So welcome. Chaz, would you like to explain a little bit about yourself and who you are? Oh, bless. Um, I'm so excited to be here online, very nervous and anxious as usual, but lovely to connect and co-create with all of you sweet souls and I'm just seeing online here I'm seeing Shelly and Fiona, Stephen and Nirvana and Joy, Natasha, Sydney, Cecilia, Anne-Marie. So we've got Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine participating so that's hugely exciting. So who I am, um, I'm a soul inspired numerologist, I'm a um, ascension coach, teacher of transformation, um, and all these beautiful titles that we can um, give ourselves and also an alchemist and all of these titles that I have found around who I am I've discovered in my blueprint in my numerology blueprint which I find within my name and within my birth date so that has helped me to really define who I am moving forward and to be able to step into I would say my light and to be able to shine it so that's really inherently what I do and I work through numbers this whole universe operates on vibration and numbers and wow what a year it's been for us this 2020 we would never have foreseen it would we with how the energies have unfolded what it has brought to our table how it has stretched us um, and what we've had to um, navigate and and really look at and there's a huge big let me put on my vision, my 2020 vision, because that's what 2020 has been about. It's been about your vision and what you are creating moving forward in your life. But before we started, Priscilla drew a power animal for us. Yes, um, I so did. Okay. okay, I don't know if you can see how well you can see it. It's the rabbit. And the rabbit is about fertility and it's about your creativity is at a peak. So it's about how we are going to be creating our 2021. With everything that we've learned, all the building blocks of 2020, how we're going to take all these building blocks and create 2021 for ourselves in a different way because we can't ever go back to what was, but we can go back to what is and will be. So I think that the rabbit was quite apt for that. Absolutely, very apt. And then and the cards that I had drawn was, the first one was for 2020, the energy holding 2020, which was vision. So we've got 2020 vision, and it says that we've needed to pay attention this year to all of the signs and the symbols and the messages that have been divinely placed for us um, on our journey as we have navigated this time. Um, also, what I'm noticing with the 2020 vision is that we are all coming online now. And when I say online, I don't mean online as in Zoom, and Skype, which we are doing. Um, what I'm meaning is inherently within us, our, our lights are going on. There's an inner online happening for all of us, which is creating a remembrance. And it's so, so exciting, which is connected into this beautiful vision. What is the eagle about? I see the eagle there. Priscilla? Well, the eagle oh, represents yeah. freedom, you know, because the eagle, you know, having an eagle eye view of something. So it's having a view from something from above. So it's about us looking down at our lives and how we can take our lives and, and evolve them and change them. But having oh, the strength, goodness. because the wings of the eagle are very strong. So having the strength yes. and the vision to see what's coming and being able to fly towards it or journey towards it. I love that. And I love that we're saying freedom because that ties into the energy of next year. When we yes. have a look at our 2021, when it adds up, it's a, a number five vibration in the universal year. So we'll chat about that, which is the freedom side. And then for 2021, the card um, that I drew to host us today was imagination. So how beautiful is that? Imagination creates a great inspired events that challenges us beyond our limited thinking. 
And that is what's happening with this online um, energy that is going on within all of us, this great shift that we are going through. Isn't that too exciting? Very scary, but very exciting when um, we have a look at that. You know, and I'm taken back. I've listened to quite a few beautiful souls as well, um, you know, on podcasts. And they speak very much about, and especially all my astrologer friends, they speak about the the huge uh, shift or the, the trigger that happened in on the 12th of January this year, which was when Pluto and Capricorn were in alignment. But there was also something going on in Iluru in uh, Australia where there was an activation and where there was a portal opening. And with this opening of this portal, in came this profound energy which um, has uh, stimulated us, activated us, and is helping us to remember very much who we are, as well as the ages. You know, um, I was just having a look as well that there's a great shift that happens every, they say, 900 and, um, yeah, 25,900, I'm like a uh, Zuma now, hey, <laughs> 20, 25,920 years. There's a great shift that happens and currently we are navigating this great shift again and so we have what we've got the age of uh, the of part of the the uh, aquarian age but then also the age of the passerian hasn't fully left us so we've got these two ages that are stacked almost like on top of each other and with the stacking of this energy there there is a tremendous amount of influx that is happening as well on the human body the experiences that we are going through and the things that we are needing to internally navigate that I'm noticing. So how exciting though, Priscilla, and everybody here, that we are alive at this moment in time in our bodies, being yeah, able to... Yeah, uh, and we, we're able to use our imagination in a sense because the card for 2021, you say, is imagination. So what we can imagine and perceive, we can turn it into a reality for next year because we effectively are wiping the slate clean and enabling us to really construct a new reality for ourselves for 2021. Yes. So look at the possibilities words. are endless. If you look at the words, I love a play on words here. So I'm Maga. So I Maga. Maga is the, the wise one. I Maga nation. So the wise ones within all of us, the Maga within all of us, the nation is awakening through our imagination, which is that bridge into this new consciousness that we are experiencing, this new upgrade, this new awakening. It's too interesting. And also, you know, this year, 20, uh, the 2020 being the master number 224, the word consciousness adds up to a number four. So it's really an awakening of our consciousness as we move forward into our wise women, wise men, the maga that lives inherently within all of us for 2021. I think that also um, stepping into 2021, um, we have to, as you say, have our, our vision glasses and having things like that is going to be important because we're going to have to see things from a different perspective. So it's not going to be the same as what it was. We're having to let go of everything, strip it you know, down to its basics and go down to the foundation. So that's where the four comes in again. It's the laying of the solid foundation. Yes, yes. And 22 of this year is very much about building our dreams. If I think about Nikola Tesla as well, um, you know, he's so well known for, for, for having the projects first in his mind, in his imagination, and before he would dream it out into physical motion. And so that's really what it is for us. It's us. Uh, coming online, having our dream, and then stepping into our imagination for how we imagine ourselves, um, our, our family, our inner world, our people around us, and in the world, um, in its more vaster collective consciousness, building our dreams, awakening us up into that creative field of the rabbit. You know, we need the rabbit for the creativity that you drew. Yes, it's about manifesting it and birthing it into reality. Yes, yes, using our inner maga, our <laughs> imagination. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, oh. I have asked everybody to please post their dates of birth into the chat box. And um, mm. Sharon's going to sort of decipher them and give you a little morsel of what's Back to come. Into, yes, into next year. 
But I was wondering if we shouldn't just look at, before we do that, if we could yes. just look at the, the, the numerology for the next few months that are leading us up into December. So how we get that is we add the current year, which is the 2020, to the current month that we are navigating. And that then shows us what we call the universal month influence that we are um, experiencing sort of as a collective. So when I'm looking at October, October is a five a universal month, which is giving us a preview into what 2021 is going to be, be about, because the 2021 energy is, um, you know, reduces down to that five. So what we can expect is borders opening up, there's a sense of freedom, there's a sense of travel maybe, um, that's part of the five energy, there's a restlessness, so we'll find within the collective, there's a restlessness within the spirit of people in October and within yourself. It's also inviting where can you be more flexible, more adaptable. Um, and also, five loves drama. It's the drama queen number, you know. So we have to step out of the drama of the experience <laughs> around yeah. us and the people and what are we seeing, you know. And haven't we all noticed that there's so much drama online with people, with their opinions and with, um, you know, how everybody wants to be right in what they are saying and what they believe. And so it's important for us to step back maybe and to become more of the observer of the experience. I love uh, the book written by Michael Singer, which is The Untethered Soul. And that's very much, I feel, the energy for next year is all of us finding a way to become untethered, where we are not attached to the experiences of what's going on, but to be immersed in the experience and perhaps stepping back a little bit and becoming more of that that observer whilst you are still enjoying the experience. And yes. I feel that will be yeah. important for us uh, as we move forward in our energy. Um, or else, because when we're attaching to drama, it's pulling us. It's like, um, if I think of a cell phone, it's depleting our energy, it's depleting our batteries inside us. So we have to find a way to um, stay topped up within the light of who we are and within our frequencies. And that's where the sun comes in. Because um, when I'm thinking about the 2021 20, energy in the five, you know, it's all about your body, firstly. You know, five, five fingers, five toes, that's all connected into the five energy. So our bodies are vitally important to catch up and to move into this new frequency. So we're already there, if you could say. Now, you know, I, I use words like ascension, which maybe some people are not familiar with. Ascension is... Uh, inherently, it's just a shift in your consciousness where we are all going to a little upgrade the way we upgrade our phones. So our energy is going through this beautiful upgrade where we are finding that the things that used to appeal to us no longer appeal. Conversations are no longer important as what they used to be. Uh, we are more connected into um, this online upgrade within ourselves where we are becoming more in tune with our truth because the five of next year connected to the throat chakra energy, you know, and please listen into Fiona's wonderful um, online um, chat that she had, uh, Fiona, around the chakras and the energy, just too beautiful, um, which is also on the wellness and so important for us um, to navigate and to take care of our bioenergetic systems as well, and especially the, the, the throat chakra energy, because that's your truth, your expression of who you are, um, as well as listening intuitively to your gut, you know, and to this, your our spidey senses are coming alive. I'm chatting to people and they're saying, I'm seeing this, I'm hearing this, am I losing my mind? Am I having psychotic experiences? <laughs> What's going on with me? I'll think of a friend and she'll phone me. Um, all of this is happening because that's what's coming online, our beautiful spidey senses. It's just so exciting, but can be overwhelming if you aren't um, aware of how your cellular structure inside you in your ascension process is um, upgrading and how you are coming online. So it's so important, especially now and as we move forward into 2021, that we understand that energy, we understand consciousness more deeply, we understand ascension, what does it mean, what does fifth dimensional energy mean, how does that affect my own experience for me personally in my life? These are the things and the questions that we need to be sort of asking ourselves as we move forward. So what is this fifth dimension, Priscilla? Well, I think that, you know, in, in being able to connect to a higher dimension, um, I feel that, you know, before it was only reserved for the ones that were the airy fairies, spiritual beings that wanted to, you know, 
delve into it. But now it's opening up and being made available for everybody. And that's why everybody is kind of, as you say, losing their minds and, and you know, thinking that they're having all these weird and strange experiences happening. But it is, it's an awakening of the universe. And I think that what this year, year has taught us is that it's opened us up. It's given us time to sit quietly in quiet contemplation and allow the information to filter through. And I think that's where we are at the moment. And now what's happening is that we're going to be dusting ourselves off and we're going to start to apply what's been downloaded going into 2021. Beautiful. When you say download, I always think about like these little packets of light that are, that we receive from the universe. That filters That's down. what I felt like, just filtering down, you know, and allowing us to sort of like, you know, you know, embody us kind of thing. Yes, packets of light unlocking and bringing different aspects of um, who you are and the being of who you are and how you want to move forward. So that's all the energy really of October uh, with the beautiful five and a snapshot into the 2021. And then when I look at, um, I've got here, uh, let me have a look here, November. So uh, no, October, yeah, October is a five universal month. So take note of how you respond and what you're experiencing during October. Ask for support if you are needing it, um, both on the inside and the outside. Because um, if we don't ask, we don't receive. That's also from your spiritual teams. We need to ask. It's very important. Um, as well as look at how you are navigating um, impatience, struggle, and exhaustion. Because it's the body experience for us in um, October. Then I'm having a look at November. And so November, we've got a beautiful 15, 6 uh, universal month. And oh my goodness, do I love the number 15. So the number 15 is the alchemist. It's the magi. That's um, in the Chaldean system, 15 is known as the, the Magi, our inner Magi coming on the line, our alchemists, you know, and all of us, I believe, we're medicine women and medicine men and seers and uh, people working with uh, pocketries and herbs and uh, uh, if you look back in all of our sort of our lineages, so it's the shamans, the light workers and the beautiful star seeds that we all carry within our being that is awakening up, that alchemy within you. And that's so beautiful. But remember, because the six in the lower aspect, um, you know, it says, and how funny, you know, I always think, I, I often speak to people about, especially women that are, are so busy giving to everybody else. And that's what the six energy is about. So you see the shape, it's got a little pregnant tummy. I'm here to mother, little arm over the pregnant tummy, here to take care of. And so we're busy taking care of everybody else, excepting ourselves. And there's the old story that when you're in an airplane and there's turbulence and the masks come down, <laughs> put the mask on yourself first. But I think that's a little bit of a tender point right now. We'll be needing to put masks on. <laughs> but I would say is, you know, take off your mask, breathe, um, and and connect yourself to your true inner maga, um, to your wise woman or wise man that is inside you. And also look at compassion and self-care and where there's nurturing needed. Understand that you've got very heightened intuition. Remember, it's the opening of the third eye, uh, in um, very much so in November. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting for many people. They really are. I'm going to notice, I think, mass almost awakens in November of people's energy where they're going to be coming online in a huge way. Do you feel that too, Priscilla? Very much so. I think at the moment, it almost feels like we've all boarded the train. And the engine is about to start revving up to go. And I think that by the time November steps in, it will be going at a much faster spe speed, you know, and time. And I just feel like it, it's, it, it's we, we have to almost hurry up in a sense. It's kind of like hurry up to um, slow down in a sense. So we kind of like, we have to hurry up, but we have to also take it slow because we have to look at the journey and look at how we are taking this journey going forward. And it is, it's about you opening up the third eye and expressing ourselves, and especially with the, the divine feminine. Um, but for the male part as well, it's about them also nurturing themselves. Everybody has been so um, hell-bent on, on self-preservation that we haven't really taken care and nurtured our souls. And that's what the November feels like for me. 
Oh, so beautiful. And that beautiful merging of the divine feminine and the divine masculine, you know, yes. six uh, being um, in, in the tarot is six the, the, um, the love, the lover card in yeah. the tarot, I think, yeah. yeah. So very much being the lover of self and the lover of the world. I watch nitpicking, controlling behaviors um, on the shadow side. Um, judgments will be also a very big thing um, to step out of the judgment um, and rather to be, again, the observer of those experiences and not necessarily attached to the drama around it um, will be part of our experience in November. And then in December, we've got a 16-7 universal month, which for me, the 16-7 is connecting the cosmic dots. Um, and for me, that's also, the 16-7 is very much a phoenix rising number in the tarot. It's the card that's falling, the, the, the tower falling, I think. Yeah, and so that's what we've got in December. So it's I'm not speaking about it from a negative perspective. I'm saying mm. the tower has perhaps fallen this year, and we now have this beautiful image of this phoenix arising, um, and trusting yourself and allowing yourself to go deep inside, and and allowing yourself to fly. And who are you as you fly out of the ashes? That is what the December experience is inviting from us, and it's very much an eat, pray, love type of energy because. Seven takes you on an inward journey of eat and pray and love. And being December, it's a winding down of this intense year that we have experienced. And so it'll be important to be in mindfulness, I would say, um, resourcefulness, um, a willingness to step into in your energy and in your being of who you are into a different space as we invite 2021 forward, not to bring this energy of this year the frustration, the impatience, the, all the things that have um, really held us back in a way or how we felt it held us back, to not take that energy forward into 2021 because the word wake up or wake reduces to a number five. So it's important that we really are very awake as we step into our beautiful 2021 because what you said, it invites freedom. So yes, this is our journey so everything that traps us, everything that makes us anxious, everything that holds us back, everything that is shackled to us is going to be the shadow experience of 2021. Um, and you as the observer can decide what you're going to attach to, whether you want to attach to the feeling of constriction and being held uh, trapped or to invite the untetheredness within your soul. That's going to be part of our experience because five invites diversity and it's a number of travel and freedom and culture um, and it's also a number that says what needs to change what needs to change and it's asking us in our experience you know i think about um beautiful quotes like um back minister uh, fuller said that you can never change things by fighting existing realities and to change something we need to build a new model and then that makes the old model obsolete so the old model of living and the old way that we have experienced our lives um, it's done now. It's over. It doesn't help for us to say yes. I just want. Uh, I want. <laughs> I want it back. You know, even Facebook is changing their look, and then I get frustrated with Facebook because I like the old way of how Facebook presented itself, and I want the old Facebook back. I don't like this yeah. new Facebook. <laughs> That's part of this experience. Yeah. So we can, everything is changing. Yeah, everything is changing, and there's a new model that's been um, built. And then I think of um, old. Um, Albert Einstein, who always says we can't solve our problems with the same thinking that we've used to create them in. So we can't solve the energy of the, ourselves, the planet, the world with our frustrated energy and our judgments and our perceptions around that. We have to be able to put it down and embrace these changes that the 2021 is inviting into our experience as well. Definitely. I kept on getting, as you were talking, the words, let it go. Um, yes. And it's kind of like yes. burn it down, burn it to the ground and let it go and move on uh, because that's the only way moving yes. forward. You can't take the old with you into the new. So going into 2021, you can't take all that stuff, all that baggage, all that old way of thinking and having the old Facebook, as you say, I'm also frustrated with it because <laughs> I can't navigate around it. But it's about having new and wonderful experiences, but letting go of the past and leaving mm -hmm. it where it is. It's a bit like the experience of dying, isn't it? Yes. So you, you, you're arriving and rebirthing and resetting yourself and you can't take with it 
with you. And um, like when you die, you can't take your belongings and everything else with you. So we need to just put it all down and say, this is a new me. And then, and I'm um, tethered in this experience, which is um, how I would love all of us to, you know, embrace this new horizon yeah. that is coming for us. I feel that it's like, um, you know, it's like a highway. So uh, uh, next year, I feel is going to be like a very busy freeway. And we're going to need to um, have goals and we're going to need to be very clear around where it is that we want to travel on this busy highway. And if you think of a busy highway with lots of cars on the freeway um, and people don't know where they're going, we're bound to have accidents and we're bound to have like traffic jams and frustrations. And so get clear about your highway or your freeway. You know, what is it that you want to um, travel? You know, do you want to be traveling in a beautiful um in a beautiful car with, the, with maybe a cabriolet with the top down and with the music on and it's a breezy ride and you're just having a beautiful ride for 2021 or are you going to be going in your old jalopy down the freeway and it's really struggling with all the cars on the highway and you haven't got speed and efficiency and energy. <laughs> we need to upgrade ourselves a bit. And that's quite apt because of what's been happening this week, especially in Durban with all the roadblocks and being prevented from driving on the highways, you know, over the last couple of days. So it, it is quite apt, you know, that you've used that analogy um, going forward. But 2020, you know, one seems to be that it, it's it's really at a, a sort of an unusual part um, and pathway. It's like the, the foundation that we actually Hi. are... Um, so, hold on. Sorry about that. Anna, can you oh, no worries. Your, 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 sorry, Anna's sorry. busy receiving something. You have something to bring? Yeah, I need to see first what I did. <laughs> Do you do do the carpets or you do the sofas? Not the carpets. Just the carpets. No sofas. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You know how to do sofas. I don't know what she's getting. Thank you. All right. That's better. Am I unmuted? You unmuted now. There we go. Very fabulous, the word. Mute. Oh, well, you see, mute. that's exactly what we were talking about. Yes, and the five energy, mute. I'm mute. I'm not able to express. And yeah. um, where am I muting myself and where am I unmuting myself? So I love the synchronicities that um, are happening here, which gives us such awareness. Yes. You know, for how are we going to move into our, our 2021? 20, <laughs> and and um, are we going to be distracted by others? And are we going to allow the energy to deplete us? Or are we going to become the observer and enjoy the experience? Enjoy yes. the experience of um, Anna's tour through the house and listening to her couch ca ca story. Um, that's part of it. Oh, I just love the divine synchronicity. Well, what can we heart. really take from that? Because a couch is about being comfortable, isn't it? Yes, being comfortable with that experience. So true. So how comfortable are you? That's what we're asking um, yes. of 2021. How comfortable are you in your body? How comfortable are you in your experience? Um, what is my mission, my divine mission? Uh, 2021 um, with all of our online um, inner knowing and awakening and remembering of who we are each of us are beautiful star seeds you know we come in with a heritage it lives within our cellular soul DNA so do you yes. know what your star seed heritage is do you know what you have come to be and do and experience do you know how you are here to serve you know when we started out and I said to you well I'm an alchemist and, and that lives in my 15 six of my name so I'm here as an alchemist to help others to turn lead into gold. Um, if you're a teacher of, of transformation, it's helping people to shift their perceptions around things. And that is all lives within your heritage of who you are as a star being. You know, and all of that is very present now. And if you speak to people, they're remembering. People are remembering experiences from Atlanta and Lemuria and from the star systems and Every single one on this planet is drawn to the stars. Who of us doesn't love to sit um, on a moonlight night and just just look at the stars? And then we all have this affinity and this connection that speaks to the soul of who we are. And this is what's oh, I go all oh, I call them angel bumps. Can you see angel bumps? Yeah. I go angel, oh, angel bumps. Hair rising. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, the wonderful time we are in and that we can remember this, that we are collectively remembering it and being able to remind another 
when they sit in front of us and they are feeling lost and sad that we can tell the other, remember who you are. You're a divine being. You carry sovereignty in your soul. You are here to shed and spread light. You are here to ignite the souls on fire with everybody that is around you. And that's what we need to remind those that are forlorn and sad and torn down and alone. In every moment, we have this experience to just touch in and not to repeat the drama. We need to literally mute, like you had, the other's experiences around staying stuck and attached to their narratives and story of pain. Yes. Because we can't carry that anymore. You know, we need to travel lighter. And how it also shows up within, um, it shows up, um, if I think of 20, uh, 2020, all the structures have collapsed all old structures, the way that we have done life, done business, done schools, um, everything has collapsed. That is what uh, the number four energy is about. It's all about foundations and structure. And this year, that is very much collapsed. Now what is happening um, for us with the 2021 and this internal um, knowing within ourselves, I tell, uh, I tell sweet souls now that you cannot navigate your life anymore in the way that you have done it. You have to change. You have to adapt, you have to be flexible, and you cannot do life the old way and stay attached to your stories of, I'm alone, I will never meet a partner, my business is suffering and struggling, um, I'm doomed. You cannot stay in that energy anymore. You have to put it down, you have to travel yeah. life, and you have to invite new opportunities and experiences into your life. And when you're speaking with another, be mindful that you aren't um, helping them to stay there, that you aren't being an enabler. So people will speak to you and say, oh, my life is just a drama and I'm so alone and I'm never going to meet somebody. And instead of, um, well, normally what we do is we have compassion and kindness, but then we speak to these people about their stories and we almost cement it. We can't. We need to remind everybody we speak to about their light, their joy, who they are, their experience. Remember yourself as a divine being of light. Remember you sovereign, remember that you've got creator codes inside you, which is that little rabbit that hopped in at the beginning. That is the creator code that lives within you. You know, your, your, your God self, your I am self that lives here. And that is what we speak to now. And that is what we invite forward. And that will help us to navigate 2021 with a like easy breezy lemon squeezy. <laughs> So, um, all our um, participants have actually put in their dates of birth. So, um, I will let Shazzy get to work. So, um, our first one will be for Fiona, our beautiful, beautiful Fiona. And yeah, it's the 7th of Dan the 3rd. Month. I, don't need, I just need day and month. Yeah. Day and month. 7th of mm -hmm. the 3rd. 7th of the 3rd. Okay. And oh, she's in her alchemy time. Oh my God. Oh, good. Oh, my. I'm <laughs> so excited. Bring it on. <laughs> I think everybody needs to flock to Fiona next year because she's going to be downloading and teaching and bringing in the experiences of the star systems, reminding us of uh, who we are. And um, here we go with Angel Bumps again. It's a beautiful time. Her third eye's exploded. Um, so, you know, and it's also going to be a year for Fiona around um, um, family responsibility, nurturing. It will be very important for Fiona to make sure that she's topping up on her self, her self um, support, uh, supporting herself and helping her own energy as well. So very important to, to make sure you're taking um, pause moments in your, in your day, in your week, um, having nature moments replenishing that's the word replenish and uh and take care of sweet little you so that you aren't giving too much my love to uh, everybody else because people are just gonna want you your little alchemy light is just gonna be shining it's like a lighthouse that's how i see it that's the number six energy so bless her beautiful year i do enjoy the six energy but it can come with a few challenges fiona often connected to family so you know teenagers <laughs> sure <laughs> Who doesn't know about teenagers? <laughs> yes, I've got one. <laughs> and and um, you know maybe aging parents and um, demands and and so on. So it's just being able to create a fine balance within your your beautiful six energy. Okay. So take care so of my love. 
Mm. So the next one would be um, Stefan, and his is the 27th of the 3rd. Stefan, 27th of the 3rd. Oh, so I don't know what Stefan does, but he's in his abundance cycle. So for him, it's going to be beautiful, but he's got the abundance cycle of the star of the Magi. So remember we spoke earlier about imagine, which is I, Magi. So his inner Magi is, is very much online for him in his cycle next year. So um, in abundance theme, um, an eight year, I love my eight cycles. Mm -hmm. An eight cycle is very connected into your self-worth and self-value. So if you are transmitting any energy that believes you aren't good enough or you aren't able to um, maybe succeed here or do this or do that, it's going to mirror that back to you because eight is a number that brings the mirror. You see it's got the two that mirror each other, the two circles. So for Stefan, it's a beautiful year of abundance. He must leap into it. He's got the Magi, the star of the Magi, which is hanging over him, which is a legacy. So he can create beautiful legacy next year as well as if he's thinking of wanting to expand on his business or step into a new business, mm. that's going to be a beautiful experience for him. Oh, that's good. Yes, I think that really is appropriate for him. Yes, a lower back issue. So he must take care of his lower back. Yeah. Um, with, with the number eight energy, which is about support really. So he must make sure he's supported in what he's doing. Definitely. Okay, um, our next one is Tracy, our lovely Tracy. She's on the 8th of the 2nd. <laughs> so, uh, our Tracy's doing alchemy as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Go, Trace. <laughs> Go, Trace. Woohoo. We can expect a lot from our Tracy. So there's great <laughs> expansion with body and mind. There's more things coming online. Um, just so exciting, Tracy. Very similar to what Fiona is doing. And isn't it interesting that these two powerhouses, that we've got Tracy and Fiona, you know, that are making such an indent that are way showers and um, they, they are light keepers, are lighthouses. They're both in that similar energy. How too divine, Tracy, too divine. So you're in for a glorious year, but you're, you're lots of demands with family. So make sure that you balance that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and also maybe your clients, maybe you mustn't mother and nurture them too much. They also need to become <laughs> more independent. <laughs> All your 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 you know your clients that are um, supporting body and mind. And maybe you might be mothering us all a little bit too much, which might deplete your energy. Set you with such love, my darling. So just <laughs> make sure that you are telling um, not uh, you know teach people to fish. Don't do it for them. Yeah. Like um, I'll okay. share a little story. Uh, teach them how to eat, eat themselves, and then <laughs> instead of feeding them. You haven't registered yet for the online thing. And I said, oh, well, I've just been so busy. I haven't had a moment. I don't know how to do it. Poor Tracy should be giving her family supper or whatever else. Yeah, she's taking me through on the phone, very sweetly and kindly, spending a half an hour of her time to get um, technically challenged shares online. So, Tracy, don't enable us or tell us to just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then the amazing Joy, um, she's on the 27th of the 9th. Oh. Oh, Joy, how beautiful, my love. You know, if I have a look at you with your old soul numbers, your 27, which is a 9, and then you've got your 9 as well. So here we've got um, our Earth Warrior, our old soul, um, our... our, our a remembrance keeper, that's who you are. You know, you've kept our memories of who we are lifetime after lifetime, Joy, and you help us to awaken to that. And so that's so beautiful with your, your double nines that you carry. Um, and for you, my darling, you've got a beautiful energy because you are in alignment with the universal codes. So next year, being a five energy, you are in your 23, uh, which reduces to a five. And your 23 is beautiful because it's the, the um, known as the royal star of the lion. So Regulus, the star system Regulus, which is all about that sovereignty and that light, the golden light and the sun shines down upon you. And whatever you need to do in 2021 that's connected to anything with writing, and maybe a book that you're wanting to um, give birth to, or um, maybe a online course, something along those lines would be just so supported with the 23.5 because 23 is all about online. You know, Oprah, her name... Her name, Oprah, adds up to 23. 
And if you think about Oprah and her successes in her life, has been very much connected to um, story. It's the storyteller number, but also being online through radio and media. And so that is what's supporting you. That beautiful 23, Joy. So you go, girl. We're going to be rooting for you. <laughs> I also get the same feeling about her and the journey she's going to be taking over the next five yeah. years. So go, Joy. <laughs> okay. Then, so appropriate. Sorry, Tilla. Yes. Joy. I mean, Joy. Joy. Just, yeah. isn't that, that's what we need to be reaching into, you know, is into the energy that Joy brings to this world. Um, and the more... You know, we are either in, um, as a humanity, we are either in suffering or we are in joy. And we yes. have a decision and a choice to either be in suffering or to be in joy, to either be in fear or to be in love. And we, we are attaching our experience. And so thank you, Joy, for reminding us to be in joy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the amazing Natash. Um, and hers is the 20th of the 6th. So whatever you do, girl, you're going through transformation. You have got the beautiful Phoenix arising energy happening for you. Um, beautiful transformation around you, my honey pie. Step into your divine feminine and shine your light like you've never shone it before because the uh, cycle that you are under is the fourth cycle, but it's connected to heart energy. So any kind of like, um, issues related to male energy perhaps where there's heartache and hurt make sure that you are nurturing that and, and working through that and releasing that letting that go my love and step more into your beautiful divine essence embrace everything that is divine feminine because that's what your cycle is next year so immerse yourself do maybe online divine feminine um, retreats uh, read uh, um, beautiful books around the divine feminine and really switch on that divine feminine life that you've got going on my love um, so so beautiful you know with you my honey um, a 26 born you've come in with an incredibly powerful number if you have a look at the two of your 26 the little head bent over I'm here in service to you that is what the two says so for humanity I'm here to serve you the number six says, I'm here to nurture you and mother you. And it's got a little arm over. So, you know, you've got little wings over everybody that you love. And you take care of them. You nurture them. You pop them in under your wings. And are you well? Are you okay? Are you warm? Are you happy? Do you need a drink? What can I do for you? That's all the energy of your beautiful six. But the drum roll, add up the two and the six. Here's your number eight. Oh, glory be. Number eight for our blueprint changes in the world. So you have come in with a gift to shift and change the blueprints, not only for yourself, but for others. So a blueprint inherently means that you are able intuitively to connect into what we would call here our soul star chakra, which is where you are able to download information and where you are able to then inherently, intuitively, like a little bloodhound, know what somebody needs in their life to shift their lives, to shift their blueprints. You've got that going on inside you. So remember that about yourself, my love. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, then the next one is Cecilia, and that's the third of the tenth. Oh. Oh, my love, you are going to be in your wisdom time. You are collecting all of your experiences now, and you are applying wisdom. So the wisdom of what am I releasing and letting go? How have I learned from this experience? This is all for next year. It's a, um, a golden time. So very important for you to work with the golden light and the golden grids. And so when I say golden light and grids, um, that would um, working with gold energy to surround yourself in a bubble of golden light and to grid the earth in golden light. Uh, um, nine is very, very connected in. That's your cycle, your wisdom cycle, working with the golden light. If you're struggling with anything next year, wrap it up in golden light, my love. Um, like bees, think of, Think of um, bees and their golden honey and think of those honeycombs. How beautiful are those beautiful pictures of the honeycombs? And that is really your year that you're going to journey forward. Clean up the clutter. Sort out what needs sorting out at home. Clean out the shelves and the, and the cupboards and travel light because now I'm inviting experience of traveling in very lightly, my darling. Also make peace in your soul and your heart with all things that you carry connected in to um, struggling with moving on or forgiveness issues. Very important, my love. 
And also, your voice stands very loud and proud next year as uh, one of our um, very beautiful Earth Warriors. So connect in with that Earth Warrior energy it's supporting you next year for everything that your voice stands for, the things that uh, mm, piss you off and make you unhappy, that you can send golden vibe and golden light, so that you can transmute and transform, my darling. That's part of it. You know, it's your guru time. That's the next year is being the guru. So <laughs> beautiful. <coughs> and then, my love, you know, Cecilia, you carry one of the beautiful angel numbers in your birth date. So those that carry threes and 11 energies and master numbers are all our angelic beings. So the soul of you is an angel. The human you is Cecilia, but the soul of you is an angelic being that has come from the celestial realms. And you are here to shine your angelic light on this world. You are here to anchor in the light of the angels on earth. And that is asking you very strongly next year to step into that angelic being of who you are. Be boots on the ground, my love, shining and unfurling your little wings as you shine your lovely angelic light. Too beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, our next one is our dear Shelly, and it's the 11th of the 7th. Oh, he has another angel um, with her master number. <laughs> another beautiful angel, Shelly. You know, and you are an earth angel that's very much connected into um, illuminating. So, so that's nine, let's see. So you two are in alignment, if I'm right. Let me see, 70, 18, yes. Yeah. Yes, you too are in beautiful alignment, my, my darling, with uh, next year's energy, the throat chakra energy, uh, the voice, your truth, who you are, the light of you, you like are going on beautiful travels, beautiful travels, my love, not just like external travels, but internal travels. So very important that you make sure that you've got your car sorted. So your car is your vehicle. It needs to maybe go for a little service and put on new wheels, my love, and just have a beautiful ride next year. You will um, um, find yourself stepping up more into your truth and being able to vocalize your expression around who you are. Um, the word Brazil adds up to five. And so if you can think of Brazil, it's a country of color and it's just beautiful. So for me, the year for you is going to be a chameleon year and a year of great color and the colors that you want to put on and adapt into your your 2021 20, uh, experience. But most of all, make sure that your car has been well serviced and that you are ready, set, go for a breezy ride throughout the year, my love. And make sure you've also got boundaries because um, in a five experience, we often have people overstepping boundaries. So make sure you've got a healthy boundary around you and that connects into the word no. So do you want to come here, Shelley? Do you want to come and do this, Shelley? No. You don't need to explain why. It's just a no. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, hello, Leo, uh, darling. Hello, Hi. Leo. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I, I managed to figure it out, and I've got 10 minutes before reading, so I do apologise. I'm going to have to go again. Um, <laughs> but I, I got a call from a printer who's doing my book, and then, you know, it just tracks on but anyway <laughs> well, welcome thank you. Thank you. okay um so Kalia is the 20th of the 5th oh darling so all of her creativity is coming online so all the, the things that you're passionate about Kalia for 2021 the things that you still have in your inbox that you want to do and create and um, be in this world is all coming online for you next year. So you're going to feel a fire that you haven't felt for a while, like a little passion inside bubbling up that's wanting to create something new in your life. So you must see what it is that's inviting in the new into your experience and where you can work with your creativity. Um, also, what you're going to find is that you are going to feel inspired on different levels, which is lovely. And my love, listen to those little pearls of wisdom and those little packets of light, those downloads that you're going to receive a lot of. Listen to the pings, the aha, the intuition, those sort of things. Make sure as well that you are very strongly connected to your, your, your power and to your grounding. So if you're feeling a bit scattered and overwhelmed in the year, make sure that you are connecting to nature, that you are grounding your energy, that you are feeling yourself anchored here on the earth. Otherwise, you might just fly away, my love but not like physically. <laughs> You're not going to be physically flying anywhere, but in your energy, you will be like all over the place and scattered and 
um, and feeling a bit overwhelmed by the fast and furious pace of the year. So a lot of grounding for you, Mahan. Okay, but beautiful energy. Okay, and then we've got Anna, uh, tenth of the third. So she's also in her wisdom time. So for, for Anna, it's to apply her wisdom of her experiences that she's been through. I'm working with the golden light and the golden grid as well. Very, very strong, my love. Cleaning up clutter, all the things that are not working for you. Working with pieces around forgiveness as well. Um, very important for you. As well as standing in your teaching light. Um, you know, because you are a inspiring leader. You are, you've got a lot of... Um, pioneering solution oriented energy inside you and so when I look at your numbers it tells me that you must step into your boots as a leader a leader love you pioneering life amazing okay so our next one is Melanie and that's the 31st of the 10th okay oh she's in her wonderful time of um, beautiful new beginnings i just see blossoms like blossoming like this new opening up i'm um, just so exciting for you my honey a beautiful year look make sure that you are planting um beautiful seeds that are going to be growing into wonderful flowers so a uh, very very beautiful year for you in how you want to co-create your next nine years uh within your cycles my sweetheart I see it's an energy around you where you are going to feel also very inspired about new ideas, new things, new things that you're planting um, and stepping into your leader light as well and your voice. Lovely voice. That, that's quite appropriate, especially when you use the planting of the seed. So that was quite appropriate, Chaz. <laughs> okay. And then Mariki is the 20th me? of the 7th. 20th of the 7th. And who's this? Mariki. Mariki. Mariki, my sweetheart. Um, you, my honey bun, um, are an awakener with your number 20. This year has been a significant year for you. Those that carry 20 energies um, are being woken up in a big way and they are really needing to step in um, to who they are um, this year. So um, I'm sure when I see your numbers, it's been quite a challenging year on many levels. Um, with your 20 but at the same time it's beautiful because it's really bringing in everything every star remembrance of who you have ever been it's too lovely and in your cycle oh beautiful my love um beautiful cycle very much connected into your truth um in your authenticity um how you want to create in the world your voice the expression of your voice take good care of your voice next year and um, make um look at what you are uh, creating through what you are speaking very important as well because it's like instant almost remember you're an awakener so you carry very strong law of attraction numbers so what you think about comes about like that <laughs> okay um and then i was just looking um who else had put the yeah. numbers um Debbie, did you want to put yours down and then who else hadn't Leo, we haven't looked at Leo. Leo. We just need Leo's day and month. Just your day and month, Leo. And let's see. And then Ethne. Uh, the 3rd of Ethne. February. Sorry, I was trying to find the, the unmute button. <laughs> the 3rd of, of February. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lady luck is in the house. What <laughs> for you? Yeah, so beautiful, my love. You are also in your new beginnings uh, time. You are at the start of your nine-year cycle. Very, very exciting with all of your fives because, um, you know, your three and your two is a five, and next year is a five energy as well. So I feel that your uh, your your beautiful show um, is going to be extremely um, expansive. You're going to have very exciting people on board, um, and there's a huge big. Um, it feels like a funnel opening up um, and consciousness, you know, you are a teacher of consciousness and helping people <laughs> <Thank> to, <you. laughs> to understand the new reality. And so, oh, very, very exciting time for you, my love. 
you know, and uh, the conversations that you will be bringing and contributing to the world through the people that you are co-creating with are just going to create expansion and expansion and expansion. Oh, so I'm too, too lovely. Thank, thank you, you so much. I, I must apologise. I've got to go. But thank you so Goodbye. much. Bless you. Bless you all. Take care. Thanks, Leo. Bye. 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 Okay. So, um, yeah, we were just looking at um, uh, Debbie. I didn't see yours. Can you just post it in for us, and then we can do? Oh, third third July. There we go. Third of the oh, seventh. Yeah, I've got another little angel, darling. You're an angel, my love, here on earth. <laughs> you really are with your beautiful number three. Um, you know, and threes uh, all often our our elevens and our threes um, often come in uh, with experiences that. Um, aren't part of the norm, if I could say. They sometimes go through some sort of life experiences that others don't go through. And it's like they have signed up as volunteers for the, uh, for the celestial realms. And you send back information about how it is to be human um, in your human experience to the angelic so that the angels know how to deal with others that are going through similar experiences. That's part of the mission as an earth angel that you have come in um, on, my darling. Now, when I'm looking at your cycle that you are in next year, you too are like Fiona um, in a beautiful um, alchemy time. So next year, uh, family is going to be very strong and important for you as well. Uh, your children, your parents will be um, needing maybe extra attention too. But also in a wonderful time of and beauty because you know the the six energies all connected into beauty and music and flowers and love and all of that and so when i look at this experience for you it's very possible that your business is going to shift and change there's going to come even more beauty and harmony within your year and there's a gentleness to the year as well um having come off uh, this very fast paced year it must have felt very fast for you the energy around you this year, like not being able to get to everything that you're needing to do. And so next year is going to be more of a, a sigh, like a deep breath. Amazing. Okay. And then we just wanted Matthew to do hers. Just pop it in yeah. into the comment box and we will give you some words of wisdom. Okay. Um, Right. Okay. So, I'm also going to be cheeky. Mine is 17th of the 6th. <laughs> oh, you carry that beautiful star, my love. You're a star here on Earth, that beautiful 17 um, star of the Magi. So, you've got the Magi, the ability to imagine for others as well, which is so beautiful, um, and to awaken the inner Magi in others. That's what the 17 gifts you with. Um, you're a blueprint changer. You shift the, ch the blueprints of others through your conversations and being able to assist people. Um, you carry a very, very strong star seed. As I look at your energy, um, Priscilla, to Lemuria, there's a very strong connection to Lemuria. You were part of the uh, the sisterhood, um, you know. And in Lemuria, the women would gather whenever there would be a baby born, and that they would all gather around. And they would then sing the song of the soul to the baby that was being born. And you are part of that same energy, my love. You carry it with you. And so you sing to people's souls about who they are. And you remind them still. You carry that goddess priestess energy from the Lemurian days. So let me just see here. That's 19. Oh, my love. Um, um, 2021 is a powerful year for you because you carry a 17 legacy number and you're moving into a legacy cycle, which Amazing. means that, yeah, your 19, your Prince of Heaven, your sunlight on your shoulders energy is so activated next year. So it's the leadership position. It is the, um, the, the, the warrior that's stepping up into her boots, shining the light for others, marching the way forward, saying, come. The, my, my flock, come, this is where we're going. And um, so the light is shining around you beautifully, my love. Well, I feel like, you know, coming up for 2021, I think that there is a lot of changes for everybody. And I think that we have to take all these changes and we have to embrace them um, as much as we can because, you know, if we don't, then we get left behind. And I think that's so important that we take from all the, the numbers that you've given um, 
and, and we take from that and we learn from it and, and we can apply it to our lives going forward. And mm -hmm. um, Buffy has sent hers. It's the 26th of the 4th. Oh, my love, you're in your abundance cycle. So how beautiful. Um, you know, everything that you want to create for yourself and your life, uh, the universe is behind you and supporting you. And there's just a, a beautiful golden light around you with the beautiful cycle that you're stepping into. I love my abundance cycle. I call it forward. I delight in it. Um, and it's a year that you will touch hearts and shift people and where you will feel so much more in your power. This year has maybe been more of a dreamy year. Um, um, a year where you go inwards and next year is a year where you are now mirroring and shining all of the, the wisdoms that you have acquired in this 2020 cycle. You know, um, also what I wanted to mention is that next year, the number five, it's a very sexual energy and it's a very physical energy. So when we look around the planet, um, we're probably going to have a lot more um, stories that will be arising connected into pedophilia and into the children. Um, in the world because of the five energy which is that very strong sexual energy um, and also uh, people will be inclined to be quite physical because it's a body number so we might find a lot of strike actions and people raising their voices um, where they are saying enough already so mass actions around the world is what we are going to be seeing and where people will be saying enough already stepping up into their truth and their, their, um, their throat energy the five energy is also very connected into overindulgence. So all of us must, you know, I've, I've developed an extra tire around my body <laughs> in this lockdown. So it's so important for us um, next year to take care of our bodies, um, respect our bodies, heal our bodies, strengthen our bodies, um, and become aware of our physical senses very much. And um, we need to get adequate rest next year. Uh, make sure you said earlier the couch, which is about comfort. So make sure that your body is yes. comfortable. Next year, honesty and truth seeking is going to be very important. Step away from head games and manipulation with others. And if you are playing head games and ma manipulation with others, it's going to backfire on you. The energy will not hold in authenticity. Oh, I said that big word. I, I thought I was going to say it back to French. Now I'm dyslexic. <laughs> so I'm often saying things back to French. So in authenticity. Yes. How beautiful. So don't go there. <laughs> also, what I wanted to say, my darlings, is um, the butterfly effect is, is, is very activated. You know, there's something called the uh, Maharishi effect, which shows that if 1% of the population meditates, it produces measurable improvements in the quality of the planet, which is it's known as the Maharishi effect, and which is also connected to the butterfly effect. And the butterfly effect, it says that when the butterfly just does its wings on one side of the world, it affects the other side of the earth. So if you can think about all of us as we connect in with our lights, with who we are within our beings and within our energy, um, and we connect, all our little butterfly wings, how powerful is next year going to be? Um, because we're going to be shining our lights. We're going to be choosing frequencies and energies that um, are in alignment with our truth, our integrity, our joy. Um, and we are going to be creating from an old into the new and remembering who we are in our energy and in our ener energy bodies is very, very key. We need to awaken our divine blueprints that are within us. You know, I love what Anadea Judas, she's a teacher of the bioenergetic systems and she teaches chakra management. So Anadea Judas, she says it's a heroic challenge to identify the program that we are running inside us and to rewrite them while we are living our lives. So I was chatting to a sweet lady earlier in the week and she's in a pattern of behavior that she doesn't know how to change, you know, because she's living this life. These are the demands of her children and she's got to take care of her life, but she knows that she's sabotaging herself and, and her life moment by moment. And so Anadea says it's a heroic challenge to, to, to identify it and to shift a pattern while you are living your life. So being able to harness that and saying, I am doing this for me. And in doing that for me, my little butterfly wing starts to flutter and then I make an effect in the whole. And that's so exciting. And that's what that unity consciousness is about. We, we are all in it together. It's like those little frogs from, um, is it Paul McCartney? We're um, all... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so magical. So my love, the body, okay? So you need to embody your body. 
in all ways, your wholeness, your sovereignty, your divinity, knowing your inner blueprint, study your energy and look at what makes your energy expand. Look at what makes your energy contract and write down and, and say to yourself, this creates expansion. This creates um, contraction. Do regular check-ins every day. You know, I do check-ins with myself. Like I always ask myself, where am I? I could be time traveling. I could be in the future worrying about the corona and this and that. Or I could be in the past missing all my dead family that are underground. <laughs> <laughs> in the moment, I have to check myself. Check in, check in. Where am I? Where's my energy? Bring it into the now. Bring in my, my light. Speak to the light of who I am. Tell myself, I'm a divine, sovereign being. I'm here to shine my light in the world. My wings are making a difference I'm on this earth. And I'm sending love and light and I'm gridding whatever needs gold and grid. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I'm about to lose my, my connection here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so while you're reconnecting there, um, yes. Owen, I think, uh, can you um, send us your date of birth? I will do. <coughs> we'll send it to WhatsApp. Oh, well, just send, no, just send it to me now. Just say it to me. So then I'll mute now? you. Just a month and the day. Okay. Are we saying it? Um, okay. Just tap it in. <laughs> I can see the little hands are going. <laughs> Six. So important for us. What, no, the day as well, sweetie, not just the... <laughs> the day and the month. Day and the month. <laughs> day and month. You put the, okay. the, the month and the year. <laughs> okay. So while we, we waiting for Owen, I'll just... Yeah, 30th of the 6th. Oh, the 30th of the 6th. Okay. Beautiful year of great shifts and changes for you, my love. Throat chakra energy, more poems, more beautiful stories. Um, that will, will flow from your heart, my love. You are going to be downloading packets of light. You are going to be inspiring. You are going to be um, helping others to remember who they are in their light and in their truth. Um, important for you to put in boundaries as well, um, that you don't overdo your energy. Got to take good care of your body next year. And not from a, an a alerting or to be afraid, but just that your body needs resource. So you're going to have to nurture yourself, nourish yourself, so that you can be in optimal um, divine flow. That's the word that I'm getting, divine flow energy that is coming from, um, from the universe. You are, you're going to be channeling. <laughs> Just so beautiful with this energy that you have for next year. So it's a beautiful year for you, my love. Um, very much in alignment with the energy of next year as well, which we were speaking about earlier, um, which is a five, a five cycle that we are moving in. So it's flow state, flow state and freedom. Um, is what it's about. And then, my loves, you know, as we start to wrap, um, if I think about how do we change anything, you know, um, in our lives, it's all with little steps. So th the small changes that we make and the small choices that we make um, shift our lives in a daily way. And in doing the small shifts and the small changes, we are honoring our truth inside and the wisdom of who we are. And then when we make little choices and little decisions, um, and we step into that. When the bigger choices and the bigger decisions come, there's less resistance for us, and then we are able to navigate and, and handle ourselves. So I think that we just need to really trust our internal guidance system, um, our gut feelings. Uh, we must um, breathe into that bigger golden net in life that manifests joy. We must focus on things that are uh, make our hearts happy and focus on your inner truth and what delights you. Um, because, you know, our light is the new currency in this world. So it's important for us to shine our light. Choose your light every day. Choose you every day. You know, when you're brushing your teeth in the morning, look at you and say, I choose you. I love you. You're beautiful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for what you're doing. Tell yourself that. Speak to yourself that way. You know, I speak. I tell people that, for me, I speak to myself um, in the kindest, sweetest way, uh, always, and I have a little delete button here, so whenever I'm being unkind and mean, I go, oh, sorry, I didn't mean that, delete, 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 so I apologize to myself <laughs> when I'm saying mean things, and my husband said to me the other day, 
do you know that you talk to yourself in the shower? There's two people going on. The one saying like, um, oh, I'm so tired and I'm so exhausted. And the other one is saying, never mind. I know it's been such a hard day. So it's very important for us to connect in and speak with kindness and love to ourselves. And when we do that, the little light inside us starts to shine brighter and brighter. It's like a little neon light goes on. And then we are impacting not only our world, but the world around us, the people that we love, and then the bigger collective as well. That's my, par my parting shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shazzy, it's always a pleasure to listen to the beautiful golden words that come out of your mouth. Um, we are always my honored mouth. and blessed to um, share in your wisdom. Oh, and I and yours. It's just the mirror, my love. We're all co-creators, so... Bless you, you know, each and every one of you that have joined us today for all the light and the wisdom that you be. Bless you for showing up, each of you. Bless you for being here in this world and shining your light and being that little soul on deck that Clarissa Pinker's Esther writes about in her book. You know, each of us need to be souls in times of turmoil and strife and trouble. We need to be shining our light. And as we shine our light, other souls catch life, they catch fire from our life, and that's what yes. we're all doing. Yes. So bless each of us. Bless you, Silla, for the life that you are, for co-hosting here. And, um, oh, you're welcome. Today and to each of you, I'm sending my love, my life, my joy. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, and as a parting little thing, we I've drawn a card, and it says, celebrate you. So that's important. It's about... 2021 and about celebrating ourselves um, as human beings so the card is celebrate you so it's embracing who we truly are as human beings um, and not standing in the shadows anymore because the light is shining so bright um, that there is no more shadow and there's no more hiding behind a mask or whoever we are so I want to thank everybody for joining us today and I want to especially thank the beautiful, beautiful Shaz um, for imparting all her wisdom and knowledge and um, rabbiting on because <laughs> we, we can right. chat and we had the Here rabbit from earlier on. <laughs> So thank you everybody for joining us and we send you lots of love and light. Um, we do have other um, 